Hello everyone, this is Alexi. Another weekly market update is here with more product and technology news. So let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Renesis Electronics announced a new gate driver IC that is designed to drive high voltage power devices such as IGBTs and silicon carbide MOSFETs for electric vehicle inverters. Gate driver ICs are essential components to electric vehicles inverters providing an interface between the inverter control MCU and the IGBTs and SIG MOSFETs that deliver power to the inverter. They receive control signals from the MCU in a low-voltage domain and transfer these signals to rapidly turn power devices on and off in a high-voltage domain. Ideal Power, pioneering the development and commercialization of the highly efficient and broadly patented b trend bidirectional semiconductor power switch, announced the launch of its first commercial product the SimCool power module. This multi-die B-Trend module rated at 1200W 100 amps and incorporated double-sided cooling is designed to meet the very low conduction loss needs of the solid-state circuit breaker market. Modules can be paralleled to achieve a wide range of high-power SSCB ratings for utility, industrial and military applications. Navitas Semiconductor and Kata Group announced that Katex Coolcept Flex family of stacker solar inverters have adopted new leading-edge genesic power semiconductors for improved efficiency, size, weight and cost with significant market size expansion. Power semiconductors are used in many electrical applications, from small power to very high power. Due to this widespread use, Increasing the efficiency and robustness of these components, for example by reducing forward losses or increasing the short circuit capability, has enormous impact on the energy efficiency and durability of the respective application. This fact was the starting point for the joint project Power to Power, which was funded by the European Union, the Federal Ministry of Education and Research and the states of Saxony and Thuringia over a period of three years and in which the Professorship of Power Electronics at Chemnitz University of Technology was also involved. The joint project with 43 partners was coordinated by Infineon. The focus of the sub-projects addressed by the Professorship of Power Electronics at Chemnitz University of Technology was on the research of reliability and robustness of power semiconductors. Specifically, this involved the improvement of insulated gate bipolar transistors. Electronic has enhanced its hybrid and semiconductor packaging capabilities by investing in a fully automated wedge bounder suitable for power semiconductors, automotive power modules and industrial power hybrids. The state-of-the-art auto wedge bounder improves capacity and adds volume process capabilities that will enable the company to explore new markets. The silicon carbide chip manufacturer Wellspeed announced it will officially name its new Silo City facility after co-founder John Palmer. The full name of the incoming facility is the John Paul Manufacturing Center for Silicon Carbide. The manufacturing plant will be housed in Chatham Advanced Manufacturing Site. It is expected to bring in more than 5 billion US dollars and 1800 jobs to the county over the next two decades and is the largest economic development deal in state history. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more power semiconductors market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or reach me on LinkedIn. Have a great day!